the infection sometimes can be lead to a space infection. Can be lead to a, to a space infection also. That means the involvement of the spaces. Okay. So in the facial spaces, there are the many spaces are there which are classified here as the primary space and the secondary space. So the primary spaces are the canine, buccal, infratemporal, buccal, then the submental, sublingual, and the submandibular. So that means these are allowed the involvement of the tooth. So if it is a canine is involved, the canine space will be involved. If it is a molar, then the buccal, like this it will be involved. And along with that, then sometimes when it is a more severe one, then can be a secondary space also, like Then there will be a secondary spaces like the paraphyngeal space, temporal space, submasmetic space, and the infratemporal space, pterygomandular space. So this space will be in, depend upon which tooth is involved in that. Okay, so our, upon the, depend upon the tooth which is involved, the various spaces will be involved. Like you see, this is the canine space involvement. So you can see there will be all the signs of the involvement. You see the region which is involved in the canine. You will see the Lower eyelid is also involved. See the lower eyelid is involved. You see the extra oral swelling. See the extra oral swelling. You see the tenseness of the extra oral swelling, which is a you see the erythema of that region which is there. So this will be a canine space infections whenever there is a lateral incisor of the canine space or even the for the central incisor. Buccal space depend upon the lower molar or the posterior, it will be involved. So the depend upon site also you can identify that is a buccal space involvement which is there. Okay. This is the palatal space involvement. Again, palatal or the buccal space involvement will be main. This also will be asked when there will be a buccal or when there will be a lingual or the palatal cortical plates and involved. This will depend upon the cortical plates. So whenever the cortical plates, if it is on thinner on the lingual side or on the buccal side, so the spread of infections will be more seen on that particular side, either on the buccal or the, on the lingual side. You see the external, the intraoral palatal involvement of the region. See the infratemporal region, patients looking ill, all this illness. If it is their involvement, then definitely we need to allow with that the treatment of the tooth, we may need to have an extraoral drainage. So the patient, sometimes you have to admit the patients, we have to give the uh, infusion to the patients, we have to give the saline to the patients and the intravenous uh, antibiotics to the patients because of the treatment, patient may not be able to take the uh, oral drugs also, so you have to prefer even the intravenous drugs also in these patients and then the incision and drainage. There are the various spaces, you see the submandibular space infection. You see the submental, this will be with the lower anterior and submental bilateral, you will see like the sublingual, you see the swelling will be on the both the side. Cellulitis, we call that whenever there is more than one of the facial spaces are involved, we call it as a cellulitis. So this also will ask in your viva question, so what is a cellulitis, what is a abscess and what is a push -chew. So the, all this will be containing the pus, remember. So the pustule also will contain the pus, but it will be of a smaller size, okay? And it will be on the skin, okay? Or it is a soft tissue. When it is abscess, will be a collection of the pus and the cellulitis will be the involvement of the more than one or two facial spaces we call as a cellulitis. Here we definitely, we need to have our extra oral drainage. This is your Ludwig angina. This you will always learn in your oral pathology, in your general surgery. So there will be a lifting of the tongue. This will be more sometimes even a fatal also if not attempted in an emergency. This is one of the emergencies in our dental practice. And if this patient can, so definitely you have to admit the patients, maybe going for a tracheostomy. And immediately what you have to need is the air of space to the patient because patient has a breathing problem because the tongue is lifted and it may obstruct sometimes a patient's airway. In that case, patient has to proceed for a more surgical, a Ludwig angina. Sometimes, and then the other regions along with the dental caries or the periapical regions, the other infections also can be causing like the actinomycosis or the tuberculosis, which are more common in the area.
So this is your what you see is that actually my cutting infection where there will be a ulceration or the multiple ulcerations. And more common for us is of course the orofacial tuberculosis. So the tuberculosis after the involvement of the pulmonary that is the lung. So the after the pulmonary the most common involvement will be always the lymph node and after that lymph node even the jaw bones that is the mandible is very common to involve in the tuberculosis that is in like you see in the children's it's always very common here. Oh yeah, of course you have to proceed for the investigation of the tuberculosis like the sputum examination you have to proceed for the chest radiograph and then the other and start with the patients with the anti-tuberculosis drugs that we call as the talk therapy sometimes even in the viva so it called, you should know what you mean by a talk